Good morning, friends. It's Friday. Do your little Friday dance. Woo, 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 woo. Friday, Friday. Woo, 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 woo. All right. I hope you're having a great morning this morning, friends. And let's hop right into our Bible lesson. Who remembers our special word? What is it? That's right. Obedience. 2 John 1, 6. And this is love that we walk in obedience to his commands. As you have heard from the beginning, his command is that you walk in love. What? You walk in love. That's his command. Everything you do, do it in love. Obedience comes with a loving heart. I love my mom, so I will obey her, right? I love my toys, so I will clean them up when my mom tells me so that I can keep them, right? Obedience comes when we walk in love. Now, let me tell you, we're going to share a story today. Even Jesus was tested to not obey. But let's see what happens, okay? A test for Jesus. Jesus went into the desert to get ready to do what God's work. God's enemy, the devil, came to trick Jesus. I will give you the whole world if you bow down to me, he said. No, said Jesus. God has told everyone how to bow and serve no one else but him. Jesus chose to listen to God and not the devil. So the devil left. <gasps> wow. Even the devil tried to tempt Jesus. He said, Jesus, why don't you listen to me? And Jesus said, no. God told me only him. He was following his father. And you know what happened? When he told the devil no, the devil went away. He didn't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. Jesus obeyed God. He listened. It said Jesus chose to listen to God. He listened to what God told him and he followed what he told him. And he said, nope. That's not what God told me, so I'm not going to do that. Wow. Sometimes we hear what our mommies and daddies or our teachers tell us, but then our friends tell us we don't have to do that. So sometimes we follow our friends and then we get in trouble because that's not what we were supposed to do, right? So work on being obedient even when it's hard, right? That's what Jesus had to do. He had to be obedient even when it was hard and someone was trying to tell him, no, that's not what you do. He said, yes, it is. God told me to do this, so I'm going to do it. So make sure if you haven't yet, draw your obedience paper and make sure that you show obedience in your life. All right. By walking in love and doing what you are told if it is the right thing, right? Sometimes people tell us things, but it's not what we're supposed to do, right? God will make sure you know what you're supposed to do and follow in his footsteps. All right, friends? All right, let's sing our song, Our God is So Big. Ready? One, two, three. Our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Our God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. Oh, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Woohoo! And I hope everyone in your house knows that song now. You guys can sing it together and praise Jesus, praise God. All right? All right, friends, let's pray for that we have a good weekend, and then we have a short week next week, but we have a lot of exciting things coming.
coming up and we will let you guys know what that is. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. All right. All right, friends. So let's go ahead and say our prayer. Hold your hands, bow your heads, close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for showing me how to be obedient. Help me, Lord, to open up my ears and to follow the right thing to do. Thank you for your love and everything you do. Amen. All right, friends. Amen. Amen. I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, friends, and do a little extra dancing today because it's Friday. All right? All right, friends. Bye. Have a great weekend.